Are you at all hopeful that anything can be done to slow down the pace and acceleration of AI? Okay, there's two issues. One is, can you slow it down? Yeah. And the other is, can you make it so it will be safe in the end? It won't wipe us all out. I don't believe we're going to slow it down. Yeah. And the reason I don't believe we're going to slow it down is because there's competition between countries and competition between companies within a country, and all of that is making it go faster and faster. And if the US slowed it down, China wouldn't slow it down. Does Ilya think it's possible to make AI safe? I think he does. He won't tell me what his secret source is. I, I'm not sure how many people know what his secret source is. I think a lot of the investors don't know what his secret source is, but they've given him billions of dollars anyway because they have so much faith in Ilya, which isn't foolish. I mean, he was very important in AlexNet, which got object recognition working well. He was the main, the main force behind the things like GPT-2, which then led to ChatGPT. So I think having a lot of faith in Ilya is a very reasonable decision. There's something quite haunting about the guy that made and was the main force behind GPT-2, which led rise to this whole revolution, left the company because of safety reasons. He knows something that I don't know <laughs> about what might happen next. Well, the company had... Now, I don't know the precise details, um, but... I'm fairly sure the company had indicated that it would, it would use a significant fraction of its resources of the compute time mm -hmm. for doing safety research. And then it kept, then it reduced that fraction. I think that's one of the things that happened. Yeah, that was reported publicly. Yes. Yeah. We'd gotten to the autonomous weapons part of the risk framework. Right. So the next one is joblessness. Yeah. In the past, new technologies have come in which didn't lead to joblessness, new jobs were created. So the classic example people use is automatic teller machines. When automatic teller machines came in, a lot of bank tellers didn't lose their jobs. They just got to do more interesting things. But here, I think this is more like when they got machines in the Industrial Revolution and you can't have a job digging ditches now because a machine can dig ditches much better than you can. Mm. And I think for mundane intellectual labor, AI is just going to replace everybody. Now, it will, may well be in the form of you have fewer people using AI assistants. So it's a combination of a person and an AI assistant are now doing the work that 10 people could do previously. People say that it will create new jobs, though, so we'll be fine. 